Okay, just want to film a quick video about glute strength. Uh, this is a very important talk for the strength and conditioning field, the sports specific training field. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I'll just do squats and my glutes will be strong. Well, strength is kind of range specific. So you can't just do a squat and expect to have your glutes strong from, you know, from every vector or in every range of motion. So in a squat, the glutes work mostly down here up to about right here. And then from here up, it's not, you know, not much tension on the glutes. So when you do, so if I were to just do squats, I would have good glute strength down low, but I'd, I'd, I'd leave some room on the table up high. When you do a deadlift, kind of same thing. Um, glutes are working real hard from here to here. And then they lock it out, but like right up top here, you know, it's mainly the erector spinae holding, holding you up right here. So at the neutral hip position, squats and deadlifts leave a little bit of room on the table. When you do a barbell glute bridge or a hip thrust, the hardest part is right here at neutral. So right here is the hardest part for your glutes. Same with a, you know, a, a barbell hip thrust. Um, hardest part right up top for the glute. So, um, so right here would be the hardest part. So where does this range of hip strength correspond to when it comes to sports? When you do a vertical jump, you need hip strength right here, but right here you don't need any hip strength. It would send you too far forward and you know screw up your your um, coordination and balance. But when you sprint, your leg is cycling, and I'm talking about max speed sprinting. When you're upright running as fast as you can, your le leg cycles around, touches down around eight inches in front of your body absorbs braking forces and then propels you forward. So this motion here, when the foot touches down in a sprint, that's when you get the most glute activation. That's when your glute really has to absorb power and then propel you forward. So at this range of motion, you need to do the hip thrust because that's where you have that added glute strength and hamstring strength from that exact position. So I hope you find this video useful, check my blog out at reckoncontrast.wordpress.com.